and welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and today I'm going to be going through the food that I have been receiving during my quarantine period with you. Now I know I have touched a little bit on the food that I'm receiving in my vlogs but I haven't gone into great detail and one of the most common questions that I've been getting over the last few days is what's the food like? How much food are you getting? What's the portion sizes? How do you order food? It's all about the food. So today I'm making a video dedicated to the food that I have been receiving during quarantine. So first I'm going to answer some questions that you guys have asked me via Instagram and then I'm going to show you some of the meals that I have been receiving. The first question which was by far the most common is how are we ordering the food? How are we choosing what we receive? Well I'm sure every cruise line is doing it slightly differently but for the ships that I am on we've been given a link to follow where we can order the food. So we were given a tablet when we joined which we can use to do our training on and also order food on and you basically fill out the form and that is how you order your food so the first thing we have to fill in is our room number and our full name then it asks us do we have any food allergies or dietary restrictions and it's like multiple choice so it gives you options and then you just tick the one that is relevant to you then for breakfast we have the choice of American continental and no pork American there is also the option to skip breakfast if you're not a breakfast person and there is also the choice to order more rice with your breakfast for lunch for tomorrow I've got a choice of pork pinak but pork pinak but I'm probably not saying that right but anyway breaded hake with tartar sauce or stir fried noodles and I can also skip lunch if I want to as well for lunch I can order extra vegetables and extra protein if I would like and then I also have the option to order salad, fruits, bread, dessert and extra rice. And it looks as though I can choose as many of those as I want because it doesn't stop me from selecting a certain number of them. So if I wanted to I could have extra everything but I don't. <laughs> So for dinner, tomorrow I have the choice of chicken curry, grilled salmon and tarragon and caper sauce or vegetable and potato fritter and I also have the option to skip dinner as well. I can order extra vegetables and extra protein and just like for lunch I can order salad, fruit, bread, dessert and extra rice. And I also have the option of ordering like a beer or a cocktail or something if I want to have a little drink with my dinner and then you just submit that and that goes in for the next day and that is how they know what you want to eat for the next day. So it's very important that you fill in this form. I actually did forget to fill out this form on the first day but when the people came to deliver everyone's food and noticed that I hadn't got any they knocked on my door and took my order manually. Hopefully not many people forget because obviously it made extra work for them so I've definitely remembered to do it every single day since. But yeah it's a really really nifty system and it's worked every you know there's been no glitches so it's been fantastic the second question is how do we receive the food if we are in quarantine so breakfast is at eight o'clock lunch is usually about 12 and then dinner is about seven o'clock so at those times there will be a knock on the door so that I know my food has been delivered I then go and open the door a few seconds later so that person has gone so I don't come into contact with anyone and my meal is delivered in a duffel bag which is hung on the door so I just collect it from the door and bring it into my room. So room service basically. What happens after you have finished your food? So when I finished, I'm gonna put all the empty pots back into the duffel bag that it came in and I'm going to put it outside the door. I'm not going to hang it on the door handle because that signifies that the crew member hasn't touched the food. So I just put it on the floor next to my cabin door and someone will come along shortly and collect all the duffel bags full of empty pots. Another question, what about drinks? So 30 minutes before every meal is delivered, there there's a knock at the door and a crew member comes around with a cart and they are offering tea, coffee, juice, lemonade and of course water refills. So it's really nice because it means that you can have a drink of your choice with your meal and you can have more than one. This morning I had a cup of tea and a cup of juice. What about water? So in the cabin we have two of these jugs that are full of water. I usually get mine refilled once a day but if you are an avid water drinker and you drink loads and loads and loads of water you can get these refilled three times a day because as I said every time the cart comes around which is three times a day they bring water to refill any empty jugs that people have but what's really good about having these glass bottles is it saves on plastic so most cruise lines just deliver plastic bottles to the cabin now obviously crew members need water but it's really nice that we're not you know using plastic bottles 
So it's a really, really good system. I am on my fifth day now and it has just been running so smoothly. I know when my dinner's coming. I know when I'm gonna be able to get my bottle refilled or a cup of juice. It's really nice that the meals are delivered at the same time every day so that us crew members can get into some sort of routine and I think that's really important to maintain during quarantine. But those are the main questions that you guys have asked me. I hope I have answered them well enough. But now I'm going to show you some of the meals that I have been receiving over the last couple of days so that you can get a better idea of what us crew members have been eating during quarantine. So for breakfast we've got bread, banana bread, ham, jam, butter, cheese then we have mango and pineapple and a banana yogurt we have chips this is a veggie burger then i ordered extra vegetables and a red velvet cake for dessert this veggie burger was incredible sweet potato curry and rice i ordered extra veg so we got broccoli and then for dessert we have a passion fruit tart we've got cheese butter and jam in that little compartment then we've got two pieces of crusty bread mango and pineapple and a fruits of the forest yogurt for lunch i had vegetable stir fry i ordered extra vegetables and a little dessert then for dinner we have a vegetable curry with rice extra veg and a chocolate brownie for dessert Breakfast day three, we've got a jam pastry and two pieces of bread that have been toasted. We have got cheese, butter, turkey and jam. Then I have an apple in this little tub here and of course, a yogurt. For lunch, I've got pasta and we, I ordered some extra salad, tomatoes and cucumber and we've got like a tiramisu cake for dessert. Here we have vegetable biryani. I ordered a side salad and then of course some extra veg as well and dessert so much dessert day four i mean you're definitely getting the idea of breakfast at this point there were two other options but i ordered the continental breakfast because that's the vegetarian option then for lunch i've got risotto i have a cabbage salad on the side and then like a passion fruit tart for dessert for dinner, I've got noodles with parmesan on top. Then I have a pasta salad and a little like strawberry profiterole. I have a croissant. I've got two pieces of bread, cheese, butter and jam, and then watermelon, normal melon and mango. For lunch, I have a tomato pasta, a side salad, so sweet corn and beans. And then we have a little lemon cake. I have vegetable curry for dinner with rice, a little salad, carrots and currants and then a banana dessert so as you can see pretty darn good honestly i was quite apprehensive before i came on board for the food i didn't know how it would be i didn't know what the portion sizes would be like but this has completely exceeded any of my expectations it's delicious i feel like i'm getting all the nutrients that i need the portion sizes are fantastic I, i'm yet to, i'm yet to be without water you know i haven't run out so yeah i'm really really happy with how everything's running um, I know when I'm going to get my food, I know that whatever it is, it's going to be delicious and as we know, food can really make or break any experience. If I wasn't getting great food delivered, I probably wouldn't be having as great a time as I am. So I am really grateful that the food is incredible. But anyway guys, I really hope this video has answered all of your questions. If you have any more, then please leave them in the comments down below or you can DM me over on Instagram at Cruising as Crew. Don't forget to check out my vlogs if you want to know more about what quarantine is like. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.